Hey folks, it's David with the UFO Dave Page once again. This is going to be part two of the walk around the shoreline across from the uh, Shingle Mill restaurant in Powell River. I'm going to show this to you right away, right off the bat. This is the parking lot where I've parked. Just arrived here, but there's this rock I've already taken a photo of. But just in this one rock, in this one single rock, you can see so many different things. Little notch right there. Okay. That's a giant claw mark. I mean, something had a claw that went down here and took this whole piece right out. We've got this little jaggedy part, could be a couple of teeth, teeth marks. Look at all this destruction of this rock over here too with more claw marks in it and then the one that I've taken a photograph of right in front of it this is one notch across the top of the rock there and then you can see right here okay my battery just died again fresh battery died anyway right here drawn through and taking this whole section of rock out right here and then the one on the top this entire rock I don't know what it likes it. this rock oh and there's a little triangular mark right there where something scratched that piece of rock out and over here in this one there's a triangle right there it's probably just sat here and look at that look at that chew mark right out of that right out of that piece there so it's sat here likely on oh, a little teepee triangle under there it's likely been right here more more rocks chewed on there so right off the bat this is a, a sheer rock face right here it goes up right from this point there's a little indentation here looks like something slid down and went thud right in here I might take that one back with me when I go I got a bag this time <laughs> I've got a bag to take rocks back with me okay we are off this is the pathway once again where we went the other day last week and there were the rocks down below at the water that we could see already just looking down here we can see big chunks of rock that's been taken out of large boulders All you gotta do is open your eyes. It's everywhere, the evidence. Anyhow, preserving battery, we're heading to the point where we last were along the shoreline. If, anything I, if I see anything along the way, I'll videotape it. Otherwise, on we go. Okay, folks, what I've done is I've come along the pathway above the shoreline, around the bend. There's just tons of rocks, just like before. I'll go back probably on the way back, but I wanted to come to this spot over here and further along where there's, again, lots of these flat areas. And there's tons of scratches all over these flat areas. But uh, walking along this pathway, just looking up into the, into the woods on the other side and up the hill, there are so many claw marks going up the side of this hill. So it's going up and down and there's plateaus along here rock plateaus where it's been making nests I've made or I've taken photographs of a few of them not been able to get up to the ones I really want to they're relatively inaccessible but so was the other one when I made it up so we'll see I'm going to uh, see there's a lot of these big big boulders this one hasn't really been touched very much but some of them are just chipped away to almost nothing 
I'm going to take a pathway down here. There are a lot of these kinds of pathways down to the water. I'm not discounting bears or cougars or deer making these pathways or people. Uh, so either way, there are some that are more windy, have a more slithery type of uh, pattern to them. But anyway, I'm going to take this down and see what we can find down there. This is uh, further around the lake than where the uh, that restaurant was, which is back in this direction back here. Or further back, I think, towards the bridge. We're quite far, we're a couple of kilometers, or a mile and a half or something from the, uh, from the bridge now. But all those, all that rock over there is the same as everywhere around this lake. Claw prints coming up to perches and uh, flattened spots and jaggedy claw marks and gashes in the rocks from teeth or claws coming up out of the water as well. So anyhow, here we go. Okay, so I've come down to the bottom of the pathway and it just kind of falls off. And there's an area right here where there's a, a patch where something has made a little area to sit in. I can't see any real serious claw marks or anything at this point right here, but all of the vegetation coming down the hill has been pushed down. I don't think deer could make their way down here I don't think even humans, I'm very doubtful that I can make it down there. Something has just slid down. Slithered down there. Yeah, slid down like it was a slide. Um, well, we'll see if I can make it down. Maybe not. We'll see. No, too steep, too dangerous. And we're gonna make our way back up the hill here. Back to the path. I see, like I said, there's nothing like claw marks or anything like that along this. Uh, these, anyway, not that I can see. Oh, look what we have here. Hold on. Yeah, evidence speaks for itself. I'm gonna take this with me. There we go. Evidence speaks for itself. That's why there's no bark on that tree down there, that stump. Huh. Well, all right, onward. Okay, uh, I don't know, 20 feet down the way, there's another pathway that's a little bit better, so we'll try this one, see what we can find. Oh, before I go, see this path, how it kind of comes up like this? Well, on the other side here, it continues and goes up. I haven't seen any footprints like deer prints or bear prints or anything like that going up and up the hill. There's a giant rock face up there. Through there, giant rock face. Maybe when I'm feeling energetic, I'll head up there. But for now, heading down here. Let's see what we can see. Try and hold the camera here. It's quite slippery. It rained yesterday or the day before. So it's still quite slippery. Here we go. Right off the bat. I'm gonna kind of clear that off, but you can see the moss grows over these really easily. See that claw mark right there? Matches many of the ones that we've already gotten heading down towards the water. So this is an easy path for it. Little path off to the side, off shoots. Let's see what we can find. Giant boulder here. Look at all that, like right off the bat. All of this rock has just been mangled. Like there's chunks taken out of it, like valleys, triangular shapes. And 
all under here. Look at that. Oh, that's a nest right there. Right there. All those rocks have been flattened down. Rocks in there have been chewed on. Little sticks have been brought in. That's quite a flattened area in there, and you can see just scratch marks on on the rocks in there too. Wow, that is a nest right there. And all around the rock, just just destroyed. And look at all this, all this jagged. These are all claw marks. All of this. All of the destruction on these rocks over here. And all over here. I saw this from the water when I was kayaking. Big chunks taken out. Flattened areas where it's found a little place to sit. But all along the top of these rocks, look at that down there. Oh my gosh, it's just everywhere. I don't even want to take a step because there's just triangular shapes everywhere that have been notched out by something with claws. Now here's one with a claw shape right there. Like, look at that. That's a big claw mark right there. All over these rocks. Everywhere you look, they're fresh. See? I just keep the camera running. This is all flat rock here. It just comes up here and just... Look at that. Look at all those big chunks taken out of the rock. It's destroyed the face of that rock. Look, you can see... the shape of its claws in the rock. And all along here, this is all this flat area. Look, it's gone in into a little hiding place in here, but everywhere in here, everywhere, look at all these, look at that. Slice in the rock, triangular shape taken out. Don't ask me why it makes these triangular shapes, or, or how, it just pops these pieces out. I guess from the shape of its claws, but there's a bite mark or a teeth mark on the rocks. Look at that one. Just took that entire chunk out of the rock with its claw. And all along these rocks, all along here, I'm leading in this direction, you can see. Big slices taken out of these rocks. Kind of slippery along here, so I gotta be careful. But look at that chunk taken right out. It makes this triangular shape, or a teepee shape, or a two sided, whatever you wanna call it. Like you can see the, the footprint, basically. That triangle shape right there. That's its foot coming right down, <laughs> taking that chunk. Taking that whole section of rock right out. I'm gonna go down the side of this. Luckily it's not too slippery. But look, you can pause this if you want. I'll go really slow. All fresh rock, freshly exposed, but this whole little corner right here. Look, you can see it's it's taken out chunks of this rock. It's not natural. I can just swing around over here. Look, more chunks, just big pieces it's taken out. This is like kind of a perch overlooking the water. It can come up here and look down, slide right down the rock into the water when it's done resting. Perfect spot. I came along here in a kayak and saw all this and went, oh my God, look at that. I see one over here too, like just all these triangles. Triangular shapes and gouges in the rock, chunks taken out. Look at that one right there, fresh. And all this, look at this one right here. Big 
big claw marks. Valley is taken out. Oh, triangular shapes everywhere. Look, this one's fresh too. I just stepped on it right there. And there. Taking out a big chunk there. An actual shape. Oh boy. See, he almost lost me right there. But look at that. That's a claw mark. Taking out a chunk of rock. And then this one right here. Look at that. There's my foot right there. Size 12. Yeah, but this is really slippery, but look at this one. Look at that. I don't want to slide right into the water, but that is a big claw mark. It's taken out a chunk of rock and a triangle next to it. All oh, this rock's been destroyed here. As it's come up on the shore, up on this rock, just taking chunks out of it as it goes. All oh, this is fresh, fresh rock. Freshly exposed. It doesn't just fall off. I'm just trying to get my footing here because it's really quite slippery. Uh, now I'm coming up here as it does, clawing its way up. There's big triangles, jagged triangles. All of these triangular shapes here are it clawing its way up like me trying to get up this rock face. It's so slippery. Look at that. All this fresh claw marks in the rock. super fresh and I don't know where the rock is it's been taken out and it's nowhere to be found it's just taking it out and look all this is fresh too taking it with it and shoot on it all these triangles everywhere back to the nest that's the opening to that nest. Around the, around the around the side is. It looked like there was a piece of clothing in there. Or a rag or something. I'm gonna go down along the beach here. It's easier to walk along that way, except for that. That's what I was just on, and it's super slippery. I could have slid right down to the water. Anyhow, like all of these jaggedy triangles and freshly exposed, freshly exposed. I can't get to that right now because it's down over the edge of the cliff here into the water. I mean, I'd probably just hit the water if I fell off of this. But anyway, all of that, we're going to try and head over that direction after this. But this is definitely this area here coming down through that pathway down to this spot and I'll back up so you can see it. Look at this, like I was saying before. Oh, there's a spot. Hasn't been used in a bit, but you can see all this is all flattened down. It kind of comes and slithers through this. Maybe sleeps up there sometime. Slithers down here. And look, look how, look how lush that grass is. Like I said, it's probably been pissing or something all over this area and it's just got a beautiful area to just lay in and of course I'm not sure it's a fan of the grass I haven't really seen a lot of the prints otherwise it would have flattened the grass down but here we go more chunks taken out it's probably come up this rock face right here this is about 20 feet up and if I were in a kayak on the other side of it you could see the face of this rock being destroyed 
And then continuing down over there, let me see if I can get this in camera, there you go. More of the same triangular shapes. Oh, here's one right there. It, uh, it's taken its claws and dragged it right over that. Taking that whole thing out with its claws. These aren't natural, folks. If scientists say it is, then they are lying. Lying through their teeth. Look, there's another nest. You can see it's a flattened area with the boulders pushed away around it. A little semicircular area and other spots. Look at the one over there. You can just pick and choose, or they can. One right in front of that boulder, too. No rocks in front of that, and it's all flattened down. A little semicircle. See that? It pushes the boulders in a semicircle. People aren't coming along and making a little semicircle in front of the boulders like that. Oh, and the, the boulder next to it, look at that. First of all, that one with its triangles and everything. Oh, my battery's dying again, what the hell? Anyway, look at that. The rock scratched to shit. All right, before I go that direction, I'm gonna go, I'll see this whole area just nice and flat. It's got a little nest down there and a spot to go along the beach chewing on rocks and finding little nests. Let's see what we can find down there. I need my uh, hands free on this slippery section, so I'll get back to you, but you know, in the meantime, check it out. I'm going back in, in another direction, you see different things than when you came, but anyway, big triangle there, triangles like there, little ones. Onward. Okay, here's where I just was. And you can see, again, all the jaggedy. Jagged, jagged. Triangles, big chunks taken out of the rock. Triangles, chunks. And it comes up, look, it's perfect. Just comes slithering right up there. You can see the pathway it has taken. And then a little nesting spot right next to the tree here. It's been, I mean, no big rocks. It's just, all the big rocks have been pushed to the side. Look at this big rock right here. Giant rock with teeth marks in it and everything. Big, big rock, heavy rock. Pushed to the side. And then right here, this is the other side of that nest that I was showing you. Another spot where all the rocks have been pushed to the side and flattened down, chewed on. And look at the rock right next to it. Again, just completely, all these little chunks taken off of it, and that actually looks like blood. But hey, people tell me I just see things that aren't there, so don't know what that is, but that looks like blood. Could be some sort of mineral, but hey, it goes up the rock. And then inside here, there's rocks that have been chewed on. Shoot on rocks. Look at that. Everywhere. And a little rock just placed up on top there. On that ledge. And then a slice right now. Okay, my battery died. Uh, but I'm still here. I'm right here. Where this rock that, uh, has what I think is blood, but it's probably some sort of mineral. Although I haven't seen anything else on any of the other rocks that's similar. So it kind of worries me. But there it is. And then around the corner, you have more destroyed rocks, flattened areas. I mean, this is this area is pretty inaccessible to most people. I don't see a lot of people coming around here. But look at all the nesting areas. And all the rocks with slices in them. You can pause this and zoom in and check it out because they're everywhere. And then a flattened area over there. Boulders with claw marks in them. Claw mark on the side of this rock. 
when I say it's a claw mark, I, I, people can't seem to, or some people can't seem to see this. Right there. See? And along here too. Nesting spot right there. Flat rocks that something has come up. Anyway, gonna look around a little bit here. See that rock up on its end right there? It likes to do that. Prop rocks up like that and chew on them. I see a lot of rocks that are kind of sitting up vertical like that. And then right next to it, where are we? There we go. That's a big rock. This area here that I'm standing in is all flattened down. Freshly exposed rock, look at that. That's, that's been chewed on. This whole area. Is that a bite mark? Is that a bite mark? This rock right here. That one right there in the center. That one in the center and that sliced off piece right there. All the same rock. Broken chewed on and you can see a pathway that goes down here it's flattened Look, and then again it goes right down to the water it's the other side of that that I was sliding on I'll go slowly and you can see all of the slices everywhere Everywhere, every single rock has been chewed on here. Sliced. Oh, here's a slice right through that rock. And this is the one that's propped up. With a flattened area right here next to it. Like it sat right here and put that rock there and chewed on it. And rocks with slices through them. And the tiny rocks that are everywhere that have just been chewed on. So yeah, something sat right here. Propped that rock up right there. And chewed on it. You can see fresh claw marks on that rock right there. Okay, this is my last and final, uh, my last and only battery. So I'm going to continue on here. Look at that. Sliced right through that rock. Sliced right through it. Okay, here. Okay. Took pieces, chunks out. Pulled its claw right through that rock. See? Took a little chunk right there, too. everywhere, triangles, bitten rocks, teeth marks. Anyway, big old fallen tree. Looks like it's been used as a, uh, a perch or a nest and or, and then above it a nest area, all flattened with rocks pushed to the side. All right, onward. Here's a nest right by this tree I was just in front of. It's been smoothed out. Something is laid right there too. Right behind it. Look at that. Bite mark taken out. That's a bite. 
take that with me. And look, a nest area. Look at this. Sometimes they're so subtle, like the one back here. Tucked away, just tucked in between the logs. Everything's flattened. This one over here. There's a, a stump sticking up, but it's made its way around it. And yeah, the stump doesn't bother it when it can coil around it. This is a snake-like creature, folks. In there, too. Underneath that oh, log is a nest. And I'm going to grab this rock and we'll see what we can see in these nests. Okay, so here's a little nesting area. In amongst all the rocks and a flattened area in front of it. But what I wanted to show you, it's a little bit further along here. Check this out. some sort of creature curl up come out of the water curl up there we go rocks destroyed everywhere and flattened spots where the rocks have been pushed up deliberately creating a flat circular semicircular area all these rocks look at this you can see a, like a pathway of flattened let's let's follow it and see what we can find again a big flattened rock and we'll just follow the flattened pathway Big slices, big slices in the rocks all the way along here. Look at this one right here. These are big rocks. That's a claw mark you can see. Every single rock. Whoa! Every single rock here. Look at that one. The S shaped. And a big foot mark. Let's fuck that boulder up. Everywhere along here. Okay, that's it for now for this area. Uh, I've got a ton of rocks I'm bringing back, a ton of samples, but I left a couple of rocks. Let me go back and show you. Okay, I've taken pictures of both of these. Uh, I just can't carry them. They're just too heavy to bring back all of these rocks that I have. Uh, so I found this rock pretty much in its entirety chewed up. It fits together perfectly. I've taken photographs of it and uh, I've left it here on this rock in this area here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces with one missing that I couldn't find. You can see the bite marks, the chew marks. It's just broken this rock up into the, my foot. It's about a 25 pound rock. And then this one over here looks like a loaf of bread I left on this rock. But look, you can see the, the big slice chew mark in it. And not only that, but once it opened it up, oh, it's so hard to get it open. Once it opened it up, look at that. It chewed. That's all teeth marks. And this is in three parts here. Teeth marks. Look at that. And I'll leave it right there like that. But it just sat there and ground away at the rock with its teeth. Okay, I'm back at the path now. I've got this, uh, I decided to 
spring the loaf of bread rock. It's just crazy with all the teeth marks in it and the bite marks and everything. So I'm just going to leave this bag and this uh, loaf of bread rock <laughs> at the top of this pathway. And I'm going to continue on, see what I can see in this direction. I've come to an area, more of a clearing. There's boulders here to keep people from driving up there, but this whole area has giant boulders. I'm taking a photo of this one over here, but this one that's fallen down over here. Not only are there tons of scratch marks everywhere, and all these boulders where there's rocks that have come down like this. Look at that slice. Right in the, right in the rock, slice mark. With rocks underneath it, dislodged. All this from underneath when it falls down like that. It's taken its claws and run it against the rock. Down in there you can see there's a nest with the rock being disturbed again. A little flat area where it's nested. And then right here in between these rocks you can see kind of a, a nest that's been hollowed out a little bit. All the triangle, but yeah, it's gone inside there and definitely nested, napped, rested. All these rocks up here, up the side of the hill, you can see scratch marks on them, claw marks, little triangles, same thing. Anyway, shows I've still got a full battery, so I think we're still good to continue. Also, going up that side there, there's a nest right up on top there. Right up there, it's a flat area. And it's gone up there. Here, I'll show you. You can see all that the side of this hill. It's gone right up this pathway. And underneath those trees, a little flat spot up there. And then past the slice again. Wow, that's crazy. A big slice in the rock along the sides of these rocks. There's a pathway up there, I'm gonna take that. But there's also, we've come to kind of the, the point here where it bends around and goes into this little inlet where the restaurant, the shingle mill is. But there's lots of areas along here where there's that flat rock, stepped rocks. Right here, I'm gonna go down here and then all along here, I'm gonna try and get along there where you can see little nesting areas all the way along here. And the rocks have just been damaged, chewed on, mangled, anyway. And then more areas to go down and around here, so hopefully we have enough battery to, to go and find out what's out there. Okay, walking up this pathway. See, I came from that clearing up the way here. There's a, a little bit of a an offshoot pathway that goes along here and up into here. And that's been, uh, you can see the rocks up there damaged. Little nesting areas all the way along there. But as I come up here around this bend, this is a groomed pathway with a sign that says, you assume your own risk. So, and you can see a little flat spot here, nesting area right there. And all these rocks giant one with little pieces taken off of it and they're all around there being chewed up and up on top of that there's also a flat spot not super flat but you can see as the rocks have tumbled down they've come around it's come around from there and gone up the side I believe there's a road up here let's see anyway, look at all these rocks all been chewed on Claw marks, teeth marks. Yep. I think it's a forest service road. And this goes to uh, the businesses down here. But up here, I wonder, let's see. There's a gate there. We're behind a gate. Let's go check it out. Okay, more road up here. I just noticed my battery is just down to one bar, so we might lose this. Uh, have to go back to the drawing board, so we're heading back down. It's just another road up there, and we'll head back down towards the water. You can see the giant 
cut marks on the side of this boulder right there it's everywhere here everywhere onward okay I'm gonna head down to this beach here that is pretty much right at the point that I can get access to otherwise it's a big old cliff down to the rocks but you can see how ready these rocks have been completely destroyed with claw prints not completely destroyed but look at all the chunks taken out of there anyway and all these flat spots along here where it just comes up out of the water slides up claws its way up you can see the flat rocks these rocks have been smoothed down for who knows how long maybe thousands of years these things have lived here Anyhow, we're going down to see how oh, it's going. The rocks are all destroyed too. Like, look at all these big chunks of rocks. They don't just fall apart on their own like that. And then down onto the beach, you can see triangles, rocks that are destroyed. Like triangles, triangles, claw marks all the way down these rocks. It's sharpening its claws. Anyway, off we go. Once again, now that I'm down here, you can see all the rocks that have been damaged. I'm going to take a big old shot. Here's a, a full shot of this because my battery is dying. And right down here, you can see the rocks have been just damaged. Chunks taken out of them. Slices, big rocks cut in half. And I hope they have a little bit more battery left. Head down there. All right, there are so many slices and cut marks and claw marks and everything around here. I'm just gonna walk with my camera slowly. Slowly because it's also quite slippery. But also so you can just see, you can pause the video and see just all the triangles everywhere. Cut marks. Boulders have been cut down to size. Triangles everywhere. Little chunks taken out of these rocks, but look at this. It's a flat spot leading right down to the water. Here we go. There, triangles, triangles. Look at that one. That stuck its claw right into the rocks. Everywhere, there's pieces of rock. Like it's flattened down, you can see it's flattened down. And fresh rock chips taken off, fresh pieces broken off. It's come up here, look, and flattened it down. I may lose you, but. Let's see what we can find. Oh, these rocks destroyed. You can pause the video and look at them. See the holes in them, the chips taking out all these little tiny pieces of rock that I'm walking over. All these little pieces of rock. Look at that one right there. With a bite mark in it. All these pieces of rock. This weight of it has been so so heavy it just crushes the rock as it goes up and goes up more triangles on the other side damaged rock damaged 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 it's just come up and sat up here like you can't get very far along here there's more water and a cliff face You can see where it's been flattened down, right here, the pathway, right up out of the water. And then it goes up the pathway, up the rocks, and goes all the way along these rocks. It sits up there. All these little pieces, bite marks in them, chew marks in them. holes in them from teeth. Okay, 
I'm surprised the batteries lasted this long. Preserving it. Look at that fresh rock exposed. And this has been kind of flattened down this area as well in front of this rock face. Claw marks on the rock face. I don't think it's climbed up this one. There's not that many on it. But definitely there's flattened rocks all the way along here. And fresh chewed. Like I could pick up one like this. Look at this. It's just been chewed. Let's see. Claw marks in them. Everywhere. Slice out of the rocks. All this rock has been damaged down here. Pieces taken out of the rocks. Valleys in them. All these little pieces of rocks have been chewed off and chewed up. Anyway, I'm going to continue along if my battery lasts. Okay, I've come down around the other side of that rock face area over there and down over here where it's slippery down to here but there's so much evidence chips on these rocks and big gouges taken out of them Let's see if I can get down here without twisting something look at that big scratch mark right across the top of that boulder and all the damage to this I don't know when I'll lose the battery here but this whole area like you can see the flattened area right there is its nest, nesting area. A little step area for it to come up. Comes right up from the water. Right up here, you can see, oh, there's a notch in the rock. A big cut mark. Look, that's a claw mark right through that rock. And look, it comes right up there from the water all the way up this pathway. And then, oh, well, there's a nest up there. And then a flat area you can come up along and nest along here and all the rocks and boulders have been chewed on up here too. There's one piece right there broken off of that boulder and then there's one right there that's been chewed on. A notch in it and all these rocks coming up here have been clawed at, chewed at. This is a flat spot for it to come right up here. Oh, there's a claw mark right there. It took a big chunk right out of that. Anyway, let's walk along here to see if I can find something cool. Let's go up into its nesting area here. Okay, here we are up on its little nest area. They can see all the rocks were pushed aside there. They're all flattened down. Everything's just flattened here. Let's walk along here, there's some driftwood up here. All the rocks have been damaged. You can see it's come right up here with its claws. Dug right into the rock. Took a chunk out of there as it came up. It came up from the water. Who knows when this battery's gonna die, but I'll just keep running it until it does. Every single one of these rocks has been damaged or touched in some way. Pieces, sharp pieces like that that have fallen off other rocks. Claw marks on these rocks. And all the way up the faces, uh, face of the rocks here, you can see. Areas that have been freshly exposed as it's climbed its way up from the water. All the way up. Perching itself. Fresh cut marks in the rock. That whole piece was taken out. That's at least two feet. Pieces of rock taken out here. Fresh claw marks right there. Claw 
marks and cut marks on the rocks. You can see the triangles. Oh boy, I'm like right on the edge here and it's very slippery. The rock's been just, no wonder it needs its claws to get up here. It's so slippery and fresh. Freshly exposed rock. Big, big old triangle here. Ooh, very slippery. Look at that. And then on the step down, you can see the damage to the rocks as well. And then it comes up here. Sits up on top. And look again, it can just come up right out of the water and up the side, up onto its little 